Hey guys, this is Rolf, Block Ops, here with an update on Zencash for Monday, May 8th. So a lot of things have happened in the last few days. We're going to make this a quick update, address some common questions, and go over a few things. So um, Bittrex, we've got an update on our blog about what the status of being able to list, have your coins, your Z Classic coins on Bittrex get converted to Zen Cash. Let me draw that out just real quick for people who aren't familiar with it and talk about uh, what it is that's going on and why we're working through it and everything's going to be okay. Okay, so hopefully as you know by now, by when we launch Zen Cash on May 23rd at the time of launch, Anybody who's holding Z Classic will get the same amount of Zen Cash if you're holding it at launch. Now, many people buy their Z Classic at Bittrex, which is a great exchange, a great partner. And so, what a lot of people want, including myself, because I have a, a lot of currency at Bittrex, is to be able to just keep our Z Classic on Bittrex and have it convert one to one on the exchange. Uh, the Zen Cash team has been talking with Bittrex for a while about listing Zen Cash, and before they take the conversation further, and this is documented in uh, on the Zen Cash blog and uh, with a screenshot of a statement from Julian at Bittrex. So this is all official. Please verify it. I'm not just making this stuff up. Uh, but they want to. They're concerned about replay protection. So when there's a fork, and they saw this with Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. What's possible to do is what's called a replay, which is to take any kind of transaction that's done on one blockchain and broadcast it on the other trans uh, on the other blockchain. Um, the essential thing is, if you spent uh, ten ap after the fork when you had both Zen Cash and Z Classic, what you don't want to have happen is if you spend ten Z Classic somewhere and then somebody else rebroadcasts that transaction and your ten Zen Cash gets spent then too. That would cause a lot of problems and loss of funds. Nobody wants that. So that's why our uh, software developers have been updating our Zen Cash node software to prevent replay protection. That's, um, that's gone into testing two days ago. All this is, this is open. You can look at the Z Classic uh, development thread and you can look at the GitHub project and, and see the status of this. Um, so it'll be ready in the next few days. As always our backup plan and we have t more than two weeks until launch our backup plan is that you can transfer your funds off the exchange into your own personal wallet. Um, we're working hard to make sure that you can leave your funds on Bittrex. Don't have a final answer for that but I can tell you that we're making good forward progress. So next thing talk about is the node software and how that's going to work with secure nodes. Okay. The software that we've been talking about updating for replay protection is the primary Zencash node software. And that can be used as a wallet if you use it on the command line. And I've done that. You can send funds, you can send messages, you can do all the things that you want to do with a wallet on the command line with the basic node software as a wallet. Right? Then when you add a graphical user interface on top of it, it turns it into a nicer, easy to use wallet. So there's a few different versions of the wallet for Z Classic around. Um, there's the Elios wallet for the Mac and Windows and, and Linux. And there's also the, um, the Z Classic Swing wallet for Linux and uh, Windows. And so we expect there to be continue to be additional wallets for Zen Cash. Um, however, the one that's supported primarily by the project uh, developers is, is Elios. The others are going to be supported as well. But we need to make sure we have a good wallet at launch. So then if we add additional security to the node, it makes it capable to be a secure node. And the secure nodes are the ones that are going to be able to have uh, overall 3.5% of the mining reward redirected to them. SSL certificate, 42 Zen Cash. We had to give that a bit of, a bit of deep thought to come up with that number. 
uh, and a Z transaction challenge response about every 10 minutes. So it has to be able to create a Z transaction um, on the node. And that response is going to get published to the new net, uh, which is a distributed uh, publishing uh, system on the internet. And so a secure node will need to be a new net peer as well. So let's talk a little bit more about what the idea behind the 3.5% reward and how we came up with 42. Talk a little bit more about secure nodes. Now I'm going to be writing a blog post on how to specifically build a secure node. I'm just waiting a couple more days so that we have the Zencash testnet um, node fully up and running and I have the time to actually go through and do a step-by-step -step of this. But I'm going to be do doing that, so don't worry, you'll be seeing that soon. The reason we have an SSL certificate is at this point in time, this is the way that we're ensuring that there's encrypted communication node to node and node to wallet. Um, that way there's, so this certificate um, you'll need to end up having a DNS name, and getting a certificate, and um, they'll need to tie to the IP address. Now you can have uh, more than one SSL certificate and more than one DNS name per IP address, but that's what you need to get to get an SSL certificate. And it doesn't cost money, you can get them free from Let's Encrypt. 42, well, we came up initially with the idea of having somewhere between 10 and 100 uh, Zen Cash for a secure node. We didn't want to make it really 500 to 1,000 because that would take a lot of Zen Cash off the market. We actually want this to be a useful currency for people to use. We also don't want it to be out of the reach of people. When we first heard, started having this discussion, the Z Classic price was lower. I'm not sure what's going to go, happen to the Z Classic or Zen Class price. We're kind of thinking it's going to be maybe around $5 um, per, per Zen Cash. I don't really know, but if we can get, if we can redirect 3.5% of the mining rewards, which I believe is about 8,000 Zen cash per month, and distribute that uh, amongst the qualifying secure nodes, and the, to qualify as a secure node, you just have to have the 42 uh, Zen cash, and you have to be able to respond to the challenges uh, using a a Z transaction. Being able to respond to the challenges means you have a decent processor and four gigs of memory, either through a combination of like one gig of memory and some swap space on your VPS, which is what a, a typical $5 VPS will have, or a whole bunch of memory. Um, and so that's about two to eight Zencash per month per secure node, and figure you get maybe 10 to $40 a month net, I don't know, somewhere between five and $35 a month. So it's not a huge money maker, but it's nice to run a node and, and, and be part of the system. And if you build up this Zen cash over time and the value goes up, up over time, which is not anything I can guarantee, but it's happened with other alt altcoins, it could become a more uh, valuable way of running nodes. And though you'll need to upgrade node software periodically, and it's not something that's easy to do. So this isn't just, you know, anyone can just, oh, I'll just sign up and run a secure node. We want people who know what they're doing uh, on running Linux VPSs to run these secure nodes because this is an essential part of the system. Okay, so uh, other frequency asked, frequently asked questions. Try to put the answers to those on the blog. And blog's pretty simple, it's just at blog.zencash.io. Uh, you can go to the main Zencash IO page and find the blog from there. Um, we also update Bitcoin Talk. I'm doing a lot of the responses on Bitcoin Talk these days, uh, so I've tried to get good uh, answers that are complete and um, provide you the information that you need. And, uh, you know, so uh, look there for uh, answers as well. And the final thing is we're going to have a launch on May 23rd. So let me talk briefly about that. So for the launch event, we're doing it at the attic in New York City, which is a few blocks away from where Consensus, New York City, the big Bitcoin conference is being held. 
And so we're doing this on Tuesday night, May 23rd. Uh, we already signed the paperwork, have a room reserved. It's a 75 person room uh, with a projector and a sound system because what we're gonna do is invite people that are uh, gonna be there for, for the actual launch. Um, so not many people have actually been able to see the launch of a new coin with the lead developer actually launching a new blockchain right there and then. We'll talk for a little bit about, for the people that are coming, about what it is that's actually about to happen, and then we'll show it live. So it's gonna be a really cool event. We're making an invitation only for right now. Um, and uh, we'd like to use this event to be able to really get the word out about Zencash to all sorts of people. And we've already had great support on uh, different parts of social media, YouTubers mention, uh, mentioning us, uh, people on Twitter and Steemit uh, mentioning, which is great for if, if you are somebody that has a YouTube channel uh, that's focused on crisp, uh, crypto, reach out to us. You know, maybe we'll send you an invitation. The people that have been longtime supporters of Z Classic and Zencash and help build this and make this possible. We want those folks to be there as well. So we're putting together a list right now and we're gonna uh, put together our invitations. And after we do that launch event, which we're going to live stream and try to get as much coverage as possible about because we want everybody to know what's going on. We want people to get excited about Zencash. Then after that, the attic has a big bar. So the folks of us from the Zencash team that are gonna be there, we're gonna go to the bar and we're gonna celebrate. Uh, you know, get out the credit card, buy some pictures, all sorts of things like that. So it's going to be a fun time. So uh, looking forward to that. So like I said, reach out. Um, you know how to reach out to us. You can find us on the Slack. There's uh, a lot of different places. So um, Jane is putting together the list of uh, folks that, that we're invite, inviting. And we're not trying to be exclusive here. We just want to get the best bang for our buck. We're using Zencash funds to pay for this launch event. And so it'll end up being about $150 a person for the people that are gonna attend. So we wanna make sure that we use this launch event in order to promote Zencash and get the word out and get more people buying it and all sorts of things like that. That's the responsible thing to do. So that's a quick update. I, I know I end up talking quite a bit and make these up updates longer, but there's a lot of information to send out. So look forward to talking to you on the Slack, on Bitcoin Talk, and I'll continue to put out more blogs and videos. Again, this is Rolf. Also, if I'm on the Slack, you'll see me as Block Ops. I look forward to talking to you, and thanks for your support for Zencash.